All right, we got Velvet Bloom and Boutique. These are the latest expansions and play series instruments. So as you can see, Bouquet is right here on the screen. First of all, we started out with Machine, of course, as a plug-in inside here. And we're using the Velvet Bloom and I'm using several kits. I got about four kits loaded right now playing like just different things between the kits to fill up the sound that I was going for. Just to go through some of the sounds just to give you guys, you know, kind of a concept of what the stuff sounds like. So these two right here, these two, I, I want to say two kits paired together is a wonderful combo. They sound great. They're made for the urban. But of course, like I say all the time with these packs, it it doesn't matter what genre you are working from. They all work however you need. So basically what you'll be doing is hopefully you'll find inspiration just by looking at the video, listening to what's happening. And you say, OK, I can use this for what I got going on. Or you can simply just visit the site, which is in the description of the video. It's an affiliate link, by the way. And you can just take a listen to some of the samples that they have on the site, which is always a, a great thing. I, I do that often myself. All right, so I tried to leave it a little bit organic. There's, you know, the hi-hats is not quantized, just to kind of give me that realistic vibe. So before we go forward, what I try to do here in this this session is try to give you guys, a, you know, a bit of different ways you can access these kits. So one of the ways you can do that is just by simply going to your your folder where you have these kits installed and you can actually search for the loops, the one shots. So if you don't have machine or complete or whatever, right? If you don't have any of these, you can still purchase the expansion. You can purchase the expansion. If you don't have contact player, and I believe it's still free if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you can go for that. But if you don't have any of this, you can still actually buy the pack and you can gain access to the samples. So real quick, we're going to try to and we're going for Velvet Bloom. In this case, this is what the expansion is. And then we can go for the samples. We can go for the loops. Here are some of the percussion. By the way, big ups to the homie snipe young once again he dropped another dope pack this dude right here is the sound of native instruments because he got kits out the kits out the kits i'm telling you and every one of them i've used on several projects and <laughs> you know what i'm saying came out to be some really you know dope projects Big big ups to you, Snipe, man, for for your hard work. That's why you be, like, hiding up under the rock somewhere. I don't be hearing from him in a while. <laughs> we over there making new kids, man. Over there making new kids. That's what's up. So we got some good guitar stuff in here. These same things you can find inside of machine if you have machine you know what i mean you can access the same stuff but i'm just showing you guys like if you don't or you probably have the machine and you wanted to do things a little differently go in and just grab your stuff and pull it in the session you know what i'm saying pull it in your, your project you can so do that That's dope. All right. 
so i'm not going to go through all of them you just have to go through these folders and just kind of see what sticks out to you and just go ahead and get the ball rolling Imagine that. That's cool. I'm just rock with the samples in the browser to the drums I program for a whole different sound. I could be here forever I'll, I'll come up with something totally different all right so we want to show love also to another instrument monarch which get missed a lot but that's one of the instruments i use to help me create this song here this is where i pull this moog so to speak you know that style bass and i stock stacked it with another instrument inside of velvet i believe yeah not velvet boutique bouquet why do i want to say bu boutique bouquet right N this is where it was coming from i think it's the 192 1992 i get my words tangled guys Yeah, and then this one, Bouquet as well. This one is the Merry Go. You know what I mean? That's what I did with that. And then. This is my melody line also coming up. I tried to put as much as I can using just the bouquet and the Velvet Bloom expansion pack, right? And then of course, just as you can go and search for the samples in the file itself, because there are wave. Now there's, it's a, there are some files in there that only talks to the instruments and whatnot. But like I say, if you go to the sounds, the sample and find the loops, they are wave. Wave is universal between all dolls and all systems. So you can do that that way, or you can also use battery. I don't know if a lot of you guys even know about battery because battery does not get a lot of love these days. It's an older instrument, but it still works. And battery is one of those plugins that can access all of the expansions so you guys know what the machine is you're familiar with that but battery is the same deal in terms of accessing that stuff inside of your doll so if you don't have the machine that's cool you you know as long as you have a keyboard i'm guessing or a mouse maybe um i'm more of a hardware guy so using this with my keyboard is definitely one of those things that i like to do and so you just have to make sure you type in Bloom or the, the full name of the kit. But Bloom, when I type in that, it gives me the, the kit, pretty much everything in the kit. Or in this, its expansion. So that's what I tend to do. If I'm going for different expansions, I type in the title. You know, in this case, it's just short, you know. And then I can go for whatever. So if we can solo that. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, 
it's like a million stuff in here and i'm not gonna switch up anything right now because i'm you know it's already set for this project but uh this one here it's nothing there but we could play with a little bit more sounds here on this track so just to give you guys a good idea of what was, was happening so these are some of the synth so here are the mallet instruments here's the flutes here are the organ Is that merry go I had on the other track? I'm using the model wheel to give that a uh, vibrato sound. stuff and then as usual you know i'm not gonna go through all of them but you know these play series are pretty much the same all play series the controls they're all pretty much the same so going through these you got the sound when you can change the uh, lfos the the noise the color the uh, adsr functions the, uh, the amp envelopes the velocity down here are your quick macro keys down here you switched here to effects then you know between a and b you got these different functions you got replica tape warble tape saturation bus compression gain um a rotator and they kind of switch up depending on what's what and you can actually switch them out swap them out yourself if you you know ever feel so desired to do so here's your list where you can you know, swap between right there and then um here's your sequence if that's something you're into and then of course your, your macros here and you can change whatever you need to you know if you're feeling lucky there is a randomized button right here and just go for it see what pops up you know what i mean good stuff here got ozone of course on here kind of pushing things forward cleaning things up widen things you know just getting it to that point where we get that polished sound and this can also be purchased on the native instrument website if you are into this i use this on every track all masses there's a few things i use but this is probably like the go-to that's the g the G on the main track. That's that's how we that's how we do it. I love this thing. I love how it sounds. And just for the heck of it, just to show you guys context, using the same some of the same stuff. Here's a different song that I did using some of the same instruments. That bass is coming from the bouquet. the drums is coming from machine and then we got a uh, you know battery a little bit of action on the hi hats Some of them we bounce it down. Oh, this is from Arcade. A little vocal to kind of help build up what's going on. And to get that sound, we just use Nectar and kind of just dial in and get that crazy background. 
push it to a reverb got transit on here you know now this one is coming from yeah this is coming from contact instead of complete control so this is contact i have four different instruments in here and four different midi tracks triggering this one instance and to get this sound what i did was i used some of the effects inside of contact here as you can see just to get give me that so this is what it sounds like bypass I don't know if you can hear that. Right. So I got the first one playing the same thing. The first and the second one together playing the exact same thing to kind of build it up and then, but you know, add these. Give me like a little texture, like a little wobble, wah, wah. kind of pushes it forward for me so sometimes i'll do stuff like that so nothing but bouquet and of course the velvet bloom instruments and then this is what i started the track off with using one of those percussion but i decided not to go with it so but again that's me pulling stuff from the side and to give you more context this is another track that i did more of a reggae style now that bass line is by itself came from inside of belly bloom i was like whoa i forget which kit to come from Right there, that's that. Man, it sounds amazing. So again, using the stuff out of uh, Bouquet and Velvet Bloom, this is it. And this vocal, I pull from the side. I'm a browser. This vocal sounds like Snipe Young. <laughs> sounds just like him. I mean. I kind of chuckled a little bit when I heard it. I was like, uh, that's night, man. If it's not, it sounds just like him. And that's one of those percussion sounds that I actually. And then this is just me playing with one of the samples and just kind of doing my own program using MIDI. a lot of live streams and you know we just do stuff from scratch a lot of times but you know just keep things short so you guys what these things sound like here you go if you enjoyed yourself hit the thumbs up on the video and also subscribe if you haven't did that we always cover new kits and packs instruments and whatnot that comes out of the native instruments camp and also with the joint venture of azotope we also cover those as well brainworks plug-in alliance you know things like that it's all in the same camp i'm ella b culture lifestyle governor bar